Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at Batman Fear State Saga. So probably the first thing to say with Batman Fear State Saga is do not confuse it with Batman Fear State, which is the regular volume. This is kind of like Fear State Expanded. It's got a load of extra material in it. It is hardcover. We do get a dust jacket. Price-wise, it is $50, uh, 66 Canadian, £40. I picked mine up from Forbidden Planet, so it wasn't £40. It was about 27 If you want to go and check Forbidden Planet out for yourself, I will put a link in the description below. So, what have we got inside Fear State Saga? Fear is running rampant in the streets of Gotham City. And Scarecrow is in control. Gotham City is on the brink of martial law as Batman fights a two-front battle. The Scarecrow is unleashing a devastating attack on the city while the Magistrate has made their move to invade. Gotham is on the brink of a violent evolutionary path and the danger level to Batman and his allies is reaching a fever pitch. The Magistrate now has full support from the Mayor to handle high-level law enforcement in Gotham and has branded the Dark Knight public enemy number one. Batman must also contend with the return of the Scarecrow, who pursues his own terrifying agenda as he takes this chaotic moment to launch his fear state. This volume is an oversight collection of the best-selling Fear State event and contains Batman 112 to 117. Now, this is the basic Fear State storyline. Now, in addition to that, this volume also contains Batman Secret Files, Miracle Molly, Batman Secret Files, Peacekeeper 01. Batman Secret Files, The Gardener, Batman Fear State Alpha, and Batman Fear State Omega. So story-wise, try not to give anything away, we've got the Scarecrow creating absolute chaos in Gotham, and in addition to this we've got a group called the Magistrate, which is owned and run by uh, this sort of millionaire, billionaire guy called uh, Simon Saint, I believe his name is, is a sort of, um, is, is similar to Tony Stark, but he's nowhere near as good at being Tony Stark as Tony Stark. And he wants to essentially take over crime fighting in Gotham um, for his own ends, I'm sure. And of course, as it all turns out, there is more to the story than meets the eye. Now, there's another couple of storylines which all kind of weave in with it and tie into it. We've got a whole bunch of Batman-related characters in here. Uh, Nightwing appears, um, Oracle, uh, Batgirl, I think Orphan appears, if I remember correctly. Um, we've got Harley Quinn, we've got Catwoman, we've got Poison Ivy. In fact, we've got two versions of Poison Ivy. Uh, I won't give that away. I'll let you find that out for yourself. And we've also got a bunch of um, other characters that turn up. We've got Clown Hunter, Ghost Maker, uh, we've got Miracle Molly, we've got Gardner. All very interesting characters. And uh, as far as the story goes, I have to say I did really enjoy it. Uh, the artwork varies a little bit in it because you've got different artists working on um, the, the one-shots that are included with this particular volume, but some of the artwork is very, very nice indeed. And in addition to this, at the back of the volume, we do have a couple of pages with some bonus artwork. All in all, very nice, and I have to say I am uh, pleased that I picked up this particular version rather than the regular volume. So that's Batman Fear State Saga. That is it for this video. Until next time, remember, hit the thumbs up below, and I will see you in the next one.